If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a book tag video. I'm going to be doing the bookshelf book tag, answering questions about where are they from, what they contain, etc., etc. I will be linking the original video down below. I believe this was created by Serena, so I'll link her channel. Definitely check it out. This video is in collaboration with glassesusa.com. I will be linking their website down below. Definitely check it out if you are interested. But essentially, I need your help because I got three pairs of customized glasses, so I was able to choose my prescription and also get the protection for blue light and I can't tell which one is the best one so I want your opinion I will be wearing them throughout the video so definitely let me know at the end which one is your favorite pair they have a virtual try on tool on their website so you can either upload a picture of yourself or use one of the models just to see what the frame would look like you enter your prescription and then you can choose a kind of lens you need either near vision single vision progressive and then you customize it with entire scratch UV protection and blue light blocking if you want to you place your order and that's it, you're done. Standard shipping is free on all orders. And if for any reason you're not happy, you have 14 days to return for a refund. So I'm currently wearing the first pair, which is kind of giving me grandpa vibes, which I'm all for. I definitely dress like a grandpa very often, like my big sweaters that you're always seeing me wearing. Uh, fun fact, actually, my first pair of glasses ever had turtoise uh, shell <laughs> finish. So... Definitely getting a throwback moment here. So uh, first question, how many bookshelves do you have? I own four Ikea Billy bookshelf, the white ones. You see them a lot on BookTube because they're so affordable. I just double check and at the moment in Canada, they're $55. So they're, you know, six shelf, standard size. They're easy to build. They survived the move, all four of them. So I would say they're an easy choice because of that. So four. Question number two, how many books are on the bookshelves? I counted last year, and since I didn't buy many books because of the pandemic, I own around 700-ish books, maybe 750, but about that. I will be doing an unhaul video in June, so I should be reducing. So I would say about 700, which is a lot, but I feel like you can fit so many books on these shelves that it doesn't feel like it's too many. This is my living room, so four bookshelf fits perfectly. Number three, how do you organize your books? Uh, right now, not very well, because I am way overdue for a reorganizing video. Maybe I should do that as I'm doing my unhaul video, like as I'm doing it just to remove the books. But currently what I'm doing, which I'll show you like properly at the end of the video, but if I'm doing this a little bit, oh, you can see my microphone. Um, I organize my books by genre. So over here we have pretty much just fantasy. Uh, up there, it's like books that I want to read that year, kind of, you know, challenges books. I have my two rainbow shelves, which the first one is books that I have read. The bottom one, books that I have not read. Underneath, you can't see it. There are two more shelves. The messy ones, really. That's why they're <laughs> behind the couch. It's perfect there. Uh, the first one is historical fiction, romance, contemporary literary fiction, everything that I don't own a ton of. And at the bottom, I have my classics because a lot of them are like really chunky and heavy. So again, you just can't see them. It's kind of messy. They're often shorter too. So it's just not super visible. It's perfect. Then we have all my sci-fi my mess but you have all my sci-fi books and then over here that you can't see but you'll see at the end i have some non-fictions same thing on the other side then a messy shelf then it's mystery thriller horror uh but by genre that's mostly mostly what i do i've always been someone that lives in an organized mess like it's not messy but kind of but i know where everything is so it's okay question number four what is the oldest book on your shelf to be honest, it's probably one of the classics, but I wanted to twist it a little bit and talk about the one, the oldest one that I have read on booktube. Because why not? Definitely let me know the oldest book that you have read because I want to know. I want to read more classics, which, okay, spoiler alert. I think next year I will switch uh, my challenge of the year and I might try to read a classic every month. How do we feel about this? Because I feel like that would be so fun. Because I haven't read a lot of classics since I started booktube because I read too many in university. But the oldest one that I have read is Emma by Jane Austen, which I have only read Emma and Pride and Prejudice by her, which I have loved both of them. This is such a fun book. I loved it. The characters are ridiculous on the side, but like it's on purpose. And I did watch the movie. Great also. But yes, definitely would recommend the book. The, the English is not super easy. Like one of the mistakes that I've done was to start reading in English some Jane Austen books, which could not understand anything. But uh, if you do want to practice your English, I do think her books are amazing. So I think this is the oldest book that I have read since I started booktube. So 1815, uh, so pretty old. 
I'm sure some of you have read something older though. So this is option number two, which, uh, who am I? I'm wearing pink glasses, which I actually really enjoy them. I feel like they're softer. They might clash a little bit with that color of lipstick, but they're soft into brown ones and they're still not too crazy out there. I'm kind of getting vibes that I should be driving to Magic Bus, kinda, and I'm loving it. So let me know what you think about option number two. Next question is, what is the newest book on your bookshelf? Okay, I haven't bought myself a book in a while, but I think it would have to be The Midnight Library. I'm pretty sure this is the last physical book that I bought myself because I wanted this pretty edition. I had to look everywhere for it. I had to actually get it on Amazon US because in Canada, we don't have this edition and I think it's prettier. Everyone seemed to disagree, but I personally think it's the prettiest one. So yeah, this is my latest purchase physical purchase. Next question is what is the longest book that you have on your shelf? Which I'm fairly sure it is it's this one, which I don't know if it's cheating because it's a trilogy in a book, but how scary is this book? I love buying these combined edition because I can just buy one book instead of, you know, three, but they scare the crap out of me and then it takes me forever to actually pick them up. It's almost 1500 pages. So I feel like maybe I have a classic that is bigger. Let me just jump behind a couch for a second. You know, I thought War and Peace would be bigger. That's what I suspected, but no, it turns out it's like 13 something hundred pages. So I jumped for no reason, but um, <laughs> this is actually smaller. Damn. So I have a good reason to be scared of this one. The next question is what is the shortest book on your shelf, which I thought it would have been uh, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, but turns out this one is one page shorter and it is The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. This is completely out there for her, like definitely the most different book. Uh, it's 62 pages, so it is shorter by two pages. So I don't tend to buy books that are quite short. Uh, I feel like I get the ebook often for these and I just feel like they're often not offered in that format, like a physical format. So yes, I think this is the shortest one that I own, 62 pages. Question number eight is what is the predominant genre on your shelf? Um, I think it's fantasy. I think it's fantasy. You'll see it once I go uh, close up, but it has about like six, seven shelf of fantasy. Damn. So yeah, I think it's fair to say that it's my main genre. I feel like it's really popular on booktube too, so possibly, but I tend to buy a lot of my books used and they are often there at my library sales. So I tend to just grab all of them. And I feel like authors tend to write long series too in fantasy genre compared to other ones. So definitely a few things that make it my most uh, predominant genre on my shelf for sure. For option number three, I went into it knowing that they would probably be too big for me. These ones are a medium, the other ones were smalls. I have a small face, but I wanted to have purple glasses because I love purple. And these are perfect for at home too, because you know, more side <laughs> vision. In front of the screen, I have the blue light protector. So I wanted to try them because they're too pretty. The question is, are you a fan of these ones or not? Question number nine, have you done a book tour? Kinda back in the day, but I think that once I reorganize everything, I should be doing a really close up of pretty shelves when they maybe, will they stay that way? That's a different story. Uh, also recently-ish, I had done the, like you turn around every book that you have read, so you could see all the unread books that I had on my shelf. I'll try to find that and uh, link it down below so you can check it out. But I probably should do that again so you can really tell which ones I own and I have not read which ones I have read so you can kind of tell, but yeah. I need to do a proper tour eventually. The next question is to go on a website where they give you a random number on your shelf between, I'm gonna put one and 700 and I have to talk about the book that ends up being that number. So the number is 233. <sighs> give me an hour <laughs> to count that. Do 200? 30, 31, 32, 33. What the actual F? So this is 233, which is unfortunately on my uh, rainbow shelf of books that I have not read. This is The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray, which is a YA, I believe, fantasy. I haven't read it, but it used to get a lot of hype. I have, to be honest, completely <laughs> forgotten. It was on my shelf because rainbow and it's purple, so I feel like it's perfect there, but I have yet to pick this up. This would probably be will probably be eventually on a, actually, 
why did I not notice? We match now. Um, but it's probably going to be on a like uh, vlog giving like books uh, before I unhaul them, giving them a chance, like try a chapter unhaul edition. That's what I was looking for. Uh, so yeah, unless you tell me it's really good because I might pick it up. But yeah, I've kind of been unlucky with YA fantasy for a while. So we'll see, but I will at least read the first chapter. I don't get rid of books unless I've at least attempted to read them. So I'm glad I only got 233, not <laughs> like 500 and something. Question 11, do you have any fan merch or any ed other decoration? Okay, I was going to say no, but that's not fully true. We do have Snow Globe Emily. I will actually explain it because after that I can send people to this video. Uh, this is Snow Globe Emily. For anyone that doesn't know, I do have a beauty channel, Beauty with Emily Fox, and this was sent to me in a PR package. I don't remember the brand, it was like a skincare brand, and they included the Snow Globe, which it was close to Christmas, so they decided it was a good idea um, to send me a picture of me in a Snow Globe, <laughs> which is kind of funny, kind of creepy. Uh, we were doing a live show the day I received it. We all thought it was really funny and she became the mascot on this channel and she's been chilling in the background of my videos for a while. She always pretty much have to have a hat because my camera will focus on her otherwise, which is really frustrating. So she is usually rocking the aluminum hat, which another long story, but yes, uh, that's the only merch <laughs> I have on my shelf. I do have some fairy lights. I do want to try to make it pretty. I'm way overdue for a big change. Uh, as soon as things open up, I will be able to actually purchase things and decorate my house, which I only got now a dining table like a year in. So eventually I will have like a prettier background or I'm hoping to have a couple different backgrounds. So we have that to look forward to. But yes, at the moment, she's the only merch <laughs> decoration on my shelf, but maybe some fairy lights, maybe some plants, we'll see. And now the last question is to show you my bookshelf. So let me bring you with me to see some close-ups. They are not organized. Again, I do need to do a video eventually reorganizing them. Okay, so this is the overview. It is messy, like I was saying. Uh, the couch is even worse, as we can tell. <laughs> but from up close, you can see uh, this is fantasy. Top is even more messy, but fantasy. Kind of just Brendan Sanderson more fantasy and then more fantasy at the bottom which it gets very very messy a few books have fallen as I was counting so let's pretend that didn't happen the second one uh it's mostly fantasy but like the first two are mostly like challenges books books that I'm hoping to read which we're getting a sneak peek of some challenges that are coming up soon and then the two rainbow shelves that I mentioned so the first one books I have not read, uh, that I have read, and the bottom one that I haven't. And then you get the super messy one that is like everything. And then even lower, you can't tell, but it's classics. Once I do the reorganizing video, you'll see them better. So uh, this is just messy, to be honest. So we have nonfiction, and then we have sci-fi. Which again, behind the couch, it's a mess. Then more nonfiction, this one is the non-science ones. These are the science ones non-science ones. This is kind of my pile of shame, which a few uh, children's book. And then we have all my mystery horror thriller. And then more. So as we can tell, they're pretty full and disorganized, hence the need to do a video reorganizing them. I'm hoping to do that whenever the weather kind of warms up a little bit, so the lighting will be better <laughs> in the room than right now. It's been raining nonstop. So probably next month, maybe. So which pair of glasses was your favorite one? Do we prefer the grandpa look? Do we prefer the pink glasses, the purple ones? Let me know because I want to know which one is your favorite one. Once again, I will be linking all the information and the glassesusa.com website so you can check it out. I will be uh, putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.